Good night and welcome to Benal Madana's first English news broadcast. Digital Costa del Sol brings you every Friday all the information about this week news. The ONCE coupon is going to show the image of Bernal Madena all over the national territory on the occasion of a coexistence workshop that has brought to our town more than 3,600 users or workers of the group. Tourism Councilwoman Presi Aguilera and the director of ONCE, Jose Miguel Luque, held a press conference to announce that the draw on Saturday, November 4, will be dedicated to Benal Madena to celebrate the organization of coexistence workshops in which more than 3,600 blind or severely visually impaired people and workers of the ONCE social group will participate. Aguilera spoke about the work of the organization. Hoy estamos en este salón Once is going to dedicate the draw next Saturday, November 4, to Benalmadena, coinciding with the celebration of coexistence workshops in which more than 3,600 blind or severely visually impaired people and workers of the Once social group from all over Spain are going to participate. I would like to highlight the importance of this type of events to fight the problem of seasonality events to which this town hall and the tourism department are firmly committed. Initiatives of this type are invaluable for us because they promote our town throughout Spain and also for a good cause, which is to help an organization whose work is invaluable. For his part, Luque highlighted the attractions and charms of the municipality. I would like to express how proud ONCE is to carry the name of Benalmadena throughout Spain as a major reference point for tourism and as a town full of the best values that define us as a society. This coupon coincides with the celebration of a series of coexistence workshops in Benalmadena that will be taking part between the 1st and 5th of November, staying in hotels in the town and other nearby towns, a meeting which makes Benalmadena the capital of the organization in Spain during these days. Five and a half million coupons will feature an image of Ben Almadena from the Marapesquera beach. This coupon coincides with the celebration of a series of social days in Ben Almadena in which more than 3,600 people, including ONCE members and workers from the ONCE social group throughout Spain, will be taking part between the 1st and 5th November, staying in hotels in the town and other nearby towns. ONCE coupons are sold by more than 19,000 on the sales agents. The Operational Services Area has prepared a new system to organize regular meetings with the residents of neighborhoods in all parts of the municipality in order to find out their concerns and demands. Operational Services Councilman Juan Olea spoke to the media on Tuesday to highlight the creation of districts and a detailed division of neighborhoods and urbanizations in order to attend point by point to the need and proposal demand by residents. Today we report on one of the key measures for this legislature with the implementation of districts and a detailed division of neighborhoods and urbanizations to address point by point the needs. Letters and proposals demanded by residents. Our mayor, Juan Antonio Lara, wanted us to initiate a series of actions with the goal of listening to the demands of the citizens. It was one of our electoral commitments to divide the city into districts with councillors assigned to them and holding meetings with neighborhoods and urbanizations. Olea explained the aim of this initiative, which will begin its round of contacts in Arroyo de la Miel. El objetivo es que este nuevo equipo de... The government team aims to listen to the residents in all its decisions, attending to their day-to-day -day life. We want to be with the real protagonist of the city and we start from the district of Arroyo de la Miel, for which I am the councilman responsible, to explain the improvements that we are already making also in decoration in emblematic areas. We are also making further progress by dividing our actions with the aim of holding regular meetings with each of these areas so that the government team can be present and deal with each specific situation in a concrete way and speed up response times as much as possible. The councilman also recalled other measures such as the green chat, emphasizing the importance of creating communication channels with the public. 
In addition to this initiative, there is another one that is already producing good results, the Green Chat, which aims to eliminate the wall between the town hall and residents, overcoming the difficulties that our Benalmadenians had to face when communicating with the nearest administration. Thanks to this tool and the division by districts, we are all going to work together to make Benalmadena a much better place and a benchmark on the Costa del Sol, a Benalmadena that takes care of itself and is taken care of by by everyone. It is of vital importance to promote and facilitate recycling among the citizens, for which the Council and the Western Costa del Sol Municipalities Association have announced new locations for the mobile recycling point. Solid Urban Waste Councilman Juan Olea spoke with the media at the Los Nadales to announce the new locations of the mobile clean point managed by the Western Costa del Sol Municipalities Association, where residents will be able to dispose of their rubbish. Olea has reviewed the different locations where to recycle in the municipality. Estamos anunciando. Ben Almadena Town Hall is setting up a new location for the two mobile recycling points for the correct recycling of special waste requiring special treatment both in the Ben Almadena Pueblo area and on the coast. The service provided thanks to the Mancomunidad de Municipios de la Costa del Sol Occidental will now be at the Los Nadales Fairgrounds and in the car park of the Torre Quebrada Health Center. These vehicles are easily recognizable by the Punto Limpio mobile signs. He also emphasized the work of the government team to make recycling easier for residents. I would like to stress the need to use this clean point responsibly and dispose of each waste item in its corresponding place, inviting neighbors, residents and visitors to use it properly, always leaving the waste in the specific containers, which are perfectly indicated to recycle in the most correct way this type of objects and waste that cannot be thrown in normal containers. The councilman was accompanied by the environment technician of the Western Costa del Sol Municipalities Association, Pablo Ruiz, who told us more about the service and gave details about when and where we can find it. Citizens will be able to dispose of batteries, small and medium-sized electrical appliances, televisions and monitors, paints and solvents, use vegetable oils, coffee capsules and other waste which are not waste from industrial activities nor from companies. The importance of this collection is to insist that these materials are not mixed with organic waste, thus avoiding their contamination and facilitating their recovery and recycling. The opening hours will be at the Recinto Los Nadales from 9 in the morning to 2 p.m. and from 4 to 7 in the afternoon on October 27, November 10th and 24th, as well as December 8th and 22, along with Benalmadena Costa with the same opening hours on November 3rd and 17th, as well as December 1st, 15 and 29. Each year, our airport keeps adding new seats and flights to its offer. That now announces a 26% increase on seats for this winter and a 21% increase in landings expected. More airlines are committing flights to the Costa del Sol this winter with 26% more seats offered this season compared to last. In total, 9.1 million seats are up for grabs to fly to and from Malaga Airport in the low season, which started last week and runs until the end of March. Runways will also fill the increase with 51,400 landing and takeoff operations expected to take place 21% more than the same period last year. The strength of the Malaga Airport's two major markets, the European with 165 routes and domestic with 26 routes, supports these growth figures, which are reinforced by the expected growth in other areas of operation, such as the African continent with 8% more seats and North America with 65% more seats. Malaga will have direct flights this winter to the capital of Greece, Athens, and the capital of Serbia, Belgrade, as well as to the German cities of Dortmund and Paderborn, the British cities of Exeter and New Quay, or the Moroccan city of Nador, among others. In Spain, the Fuenteventura and San Sebastián routes will be on offer this winter.
These are three millions of seats offered by the 40 airlines that will operate this winter at the airport. Costa del Sol will be connected with 123 cities with direct flights for more than the previous low season. The airlines have programmed 202 routes, of which 165 will connect Malaga with the rest of the continent, with 31% more seats and 28% more scheduled flights to Europe. In Spain, 26 routes have been established, with 13% more seats and 8% more operations than last winter. Germany is also a strong market where airlines have increased the number of seats available to fly from the Costa del Sol by 52%, with 48% more operations. The Netherlands with 20% more seats, France with 38% more, Italy with a 49% increase in air capacity, Poland with a 185% increase in seats, Sweden with 19% more seats and Denmark with a 9% increase. The UK remains the leader of the pack, with 43 of the 202 total routes direct to the British market where airlines have scheduled just over 1.8 million seats and nearly 10,000 operations with this country from last Sunday until the last weekend of March next year. By destinations, London has the most seats and flights offered by airlines with more than 760,000 seats on almost 4,100 flights. Barcelona, Madrid, Paris, Amsterdam, Brussels, Copenhagen, Dublin, Stockholm, Manchester and Rome complete the ranking of the cities with the most seats offered to fly this winter from Malaga. Winter is becoming increasingly important for airlines operating in Malaga, according to the figures. Last year, there were 17% more seats to fly to and from the Costa del Sol than before the pandemic, specifically 7.4 million seats for the low season. From the end of October until the time change in March, 43,834 commercial operations, 13.6% more than before the health crisis, were operated on the runways of Malaga Airport. The Anika Torres Active Participation Center celebrated last Saturday a Halloween party in which the elderly of the municipality showed their originality and enjoyed a fun afternoon of dancing. Third Age Councilwoman Maria Luisa Robles visited the Anika Torres Active Participation Center last Saturday for the celebration of a Halloween Guateque, organized by the center's board of directors to the delight of the center's users and the elderly of the municipality in general. The Anika Torres Active Participation Center has been transformed for this party, and we are going to have a magical day for Halloween with the organization of the Guateque for the elderly to enjoy dancing, music and costumes for the occasion. I want to highlight the value of this initiative not only because it allows us to have a good time together as a family, having fun with our elders, but also because it allows us to strength ties and have fun as if we were all one big family. Robles highlight the importance of organizing activities for our seniors. The new government team has decided to make a firm commitment to promoting innovative activities that are working like a charm. Initiatives such as the Guateque, which was a great success in terms of participation during the recent Seniors Week. Many of the activities that are being carried out with the arrival of the new government team are aimed at promoting active aging with physical activities and healthy initiatives such as dancing. The users of the center played a very important role in the organization of this party. Juani Alias was in charge of preparing the decoration of the space, taking care of all the details with great care, and Jesus Pérez was in charge of making the poster. A new example of the teamwork and good work with which the board of directors of the center prepares its events, working together with the town hall to celebrate activities that help to dynamize the day-to-day -day life of the group, encouraging their participation in the festivities of the municipality. And these are today's headlines. Ben Almadena starts this Saturday on the 11th coupon. City Hall organizes neighborhood meetings. New locations and hours for the mobile recycling point.
Malaga Surfboard offer keeps growing. Halloween party at Anika Torres. The weather forecast for the weekend will leave us with cloudy skies with precipitation in the evening inland and on the west coast, although inland precipitation is not ruled out during the rest of the day, but will be occasional and light. Minimum temperatures unchanged around 12 degrees and maximum temperatures on the rise up to 23. Winds from the west with a strong winds from the midday onwards. And that's all. Thank you for watching us and remember you can stay updated on our website or social media profile on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good night and enjoy the weekend.